Hey everybody, Alex from Make My Day. Thanks for tuning in. Today we're going to be making a case for jaw harps. My good friend Jamie Bev has his own YouTube channel dedicated to nothing but jaw harps. There's going to be a link down below. He made this harp and now I'm going to make him a case. Let's head to the shop. Since the case I'm making is going to be used as a gift by my friend, I decided to use a piece of uh, quarter sawn sycamore because it has an interesting grain structure. Alright, I'm setting up the rip fence in order to rip down this piece of eastern red cedar. I love the smell of this stuff when I'm sawing on it. Now that the pieces are cut, it's time to laminate the pieces together using Gorilla Wood Glue. Applying an ample amount, making sure to get it on all the surfaces that are going to be mating, and clamping the pieces together to sit overnight. Not really worried about excess because this, those will be machined off or sanded down at the end of the project. Alright, I'm cutting the pocket now. It was actually the hardest piece of this whole entire project. Since these harps are all handmade by my friend, uh, getting this to have a perfect fit was the hardest part. There was a lot of math involved in the CAD software used to generate the tool pads. Now I'm cutting the pocket to protect the trigger of the harp. These are the holes used to strap the bottom of the case and top to case together. The profile of this harp case was actually drawn by hand by myself, copied on my flatbed scanner, and then traced by my CAD software. The lid of this project is going to be made out of cast acrylic. I also cut a pocket the same as in the bottom of the case and mirrored the profile cut. In this step I am cutting an outline into a piece of cardstock to help me align the top of the case prior to laser engraving it. Dawn dish soap is used to use as a liquid mask. This will protect the acrylic from any uh, acrylic that actually bonds to the surface while laser engraving it. Since the laser moves back and forth, I decided it would be a good idea to tape this down prior to engraving it. I've sped up this footage quite a bit in order to get through this process. Uh, this is actually at 200% speed.
Now that all the fun machine work's done, now comes the task of sanding this to finish. I use 150, 200, 400, 500, and 1,000 grits of sandpaper in order to get the shine I wanted. The finish of this product is actually a mixture I made myself using beeswax, orange oil, and coconut oil. These are all food safe products and since this case comes in contact with the instrument that goes into your mouth, I figured I should make it out of something that's food safe. All right, thank you guys for watching. Just remember, if you liked it, hit like, share, and subscribe. Also, there's a link in the comments to my friend's YouTube channel and possibly his video.